Hey guys, Blue Robot here. So, World War 3 has dropped another video giving us some information regarding character customization and even showcased a new area within the trailer that you may not have realized. Of course, if you want to stay up to date with anything and everything regarding World War 3, then go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video. And of course, if you do end up enjoying this video, then hit that like button at the end. All right, guys. So, today I wanted to go ahead and break down the spotlight video for you guys bit by bit and point out certain things within the trailer so of course we start off with a helicopter drone flying overhead on what looks like to be the map smolensk or possibly the new korean dmz map and i'll show you why later it's really because of these towers overhead it doesn't really remind me of smolensk it reminds me of another thing we saw in the development trailer that possibly could be hinting at the korean dmz map and then of course we have the brand new anti-air weapon called the grom if i remember correctly which is a man portable Polish rocket launcher. Then we get shown some quick glances at some different operators in the game, which again will be fully customizable and we'll go over that later, as well as what looks to be a US Marine standing guard at the Korean DMZ. Because if you look at this picture, you can see both blue buildings in both areas. So it seems to be officially confirmed that we will be going to the border between North and South Korea to fight. But we also kind of confirmed this after seeing some Korean weapons in the development trailer. And then after that, we see a super sick looking T90, it looks like, with a rocket pod turret on on top rocking some cool arctic camo while russian soldier stands right next to it on the map moscow and it was pretty cool during this entire time we also see some live action uniforms with some 3d scanning going on and real quick farm 51 could i possibly get one of those farm 51 patches if so hit me up we can discuss the details but speaking of details, it seems like the guys at World War 3 are sparing no expense when it comes to making sure every detail and texture is within this game. When it comes to uniforms, gear, and equipment. Then after that, we see what looks like to be an M1 Abrams being fired upon by an RPG on the Polarni map. And then some quick hit fire on the C1 point on Smolensk. We even see a quick look at an IFV, which looks to be rocking some crazy looking camo. Also, we get a really nice look at the character loadout screen, showcasing that you won't just be able to customize one, but three characters, all with different headgear, all the way down to the patches and tags on uniform, which also begs the question, Farm 51, my patch, possibly? You know, I had to kind of sink that question in there somewhere. But this is definitely an upgrade when it comes to character customization compared to the old build where you can only customize one soldier and that was it. So depending on what map you'll be on, you'll be able to adjust camos accordingly. Then in the next part, we see what looks like to be the Vepper submachine gun with a possible 50 to 60 round drum magazine. So it looks like we'll be getting those drum mags back for some awesome weapon smithing. But we all know that's pretty much top tier in World War III. Then following that, we see some live action video showcasing a US Army assault pack, which brings back a lot of memories with some more ACU camouflage, which is also pretty much a throwback nowadays. And we also see the groin plate, which nobody ever used. And after that, we also see what looks to be either Russian or maybe Polish. I th I'm thinking like a Russian camo assault vest, quickly followed by some desert Marpat camo from the US Marines with the last name Walker. And maybe just an interesting idea, but I think it'd be cool if we could change the name on the name tape but i don't think that'll be coming in but imagine walking around with some interesting names i'm sure you guys will probably come up with a few so let me know down below in the comments what your name tape would say we also see some more 3d scanning at work when it comes to weapons such as what looks to be an m4 or like a mark 18 of some kind but it also begs the question is that real or airsoft because i'm not sure how weapon laws work in poland i do know however that the team went and shot real weapons to get ballistics training and to get a sense of what weapons actually feel like but i'm just curious to know the weapon laws in all honesty so someone let me know down below then we get some more looks at the on the spot weapon customization with the backpack system which includes an ak-12 the ak alpha what looks to be a korean k2 service rifle then a sig mpx and then a barrel 762 which is actually one of my favorite assault rifles of course we see some more 3d scanning and then this is probably one of the only things that bothered me within the trailer was them showcasing and hear me out before you freak out a u.s army seal yeah you heard that right listen guys i know you guys probably let this one slip by the crack on you but seriously you got some vets on the nda team so reach out next time because we clearly see it's marine camo of a marine patch standing guard at the korean dmz which also is mainly guarded by the u.s army that is posted there 
and the SEALs are actually with the Navy, not the Marines. But then again, we also know that the Navy owns the Marines, so I know some Marine buddies are going to like that one. Anyways, we see the Russian Spetsnaz soldier holding what looks like to be the Vepr SMG as well, and then the Polish Grom operator on the new and improved Berlin map. Looks like he's standing right by the C1 and C2 point as well. And then we see some soldiers low crawling on the map Smolensk, while the next part is what we see looks like to be the interior of the B1 or B2 point on Moscow. I forgot which point exactly, but it's basically the mall area on the Moscow map, which looks absolutely amazing by the way. We also see some Arctic camo being showcased on Polyarni, while the soldier actually looking is holding a K2 assault rifle, which looks like to have a magnifier but with no optic which i found that to be a really interesting choice there then we see some more quick cuts to even more different styles of operators in which we also see a few new head options including the shin head john and rafal face which i believe are all new and were not in the old build i know the shin one definitely wasn't and just to break down exactly what you could customize first is the head then the headgear face gear jacket to torso options gloves with some sick mechanic gloves pants which seems to already include the boots down below and of course war paints for both the body and the face we also get some pretty cool information on what the devs are going to be giving veteran players regarding playing on the old build which also seems more in tune with the free-to-play model that we've been talking about lately kind of like what happened with csgo hopefully it's not as bad as csgo but only time can tell so we see a black beret featuring the world war 3 logo which i'm guessing is going to go to veteran players only and i'm pretty sure that we'll also get a patch that actually states i survived world war 3 development because that's actually in the old build now what we also heard from the narrator's voice was that they have more intel coming out in the following weeks and months ahead we've got more intel coming your way in the weeks and months ahead and guys there's only about three months left in 2021 so this most likely confirms a release date somewhere in 2022 when exactly i have no clue but i don't expect a release date soon but then again maybe it could be within two months which would also confirm the rumors of a release date possibly in december or like an open or closed beta but i think we'll just have to wait and see but guys, that pretty much ends today's video and the breakdown of this trailer. If you enjoyed all the information, then go ahead, hit that like button, and subscribe for more content. My name is Blue the Robot, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.